But let's talk about Casey Neistat. And again, I want you guys to remember that these people are just human beings just like you and I. They're human beings just like you and I, all right? Which means that, and I'm going to be reading Super Chats throughout the show. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link. It's in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. They go through problems. They have issues. They have anxiety. They have things that they worry about. They have relationship problems just like every single other person on the face of this earth. And a lot of times we act like just because they're great content creators and things like that, that they don't have regular problems just like everybody else. And so I can appreciate somebody like a Casey Neistat that would be so transparent with his life that we can then react to it. Shout out to Classy Beats. We love you, big dog. Shout out to a Geo Search. I'm not going to double unpop. That we could, y'all got to pay for the double unpop. That we could react to it and actually get an inside view because I'm so busy being the person that places my life uh, on, you know, on a platform and live my life like an open book. So I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys think about this conversation also. Again, make sure y'all hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your no, uh, notifications. He said 10 simple tricks not to get divorced. Let's get into the video, y'all. Hey. Um, are you in a good mood? Sure. Okay, because this video only works if you're in a good mood. <laughs> now, Casey Neistat, for all intents and purposes, is a very, very successful, has had multiple different ventures in which he's made millions and millions of dollars, and he's one of the most successful content creators on YouTube. He has married a regular, everyday woman. Regular, everyday woman, for the sake of conversation. But... I don't want to focus on that. I want to focus on his his strategies for not getting divorced. Okay. <laughs> okay, come on. 2011. This camera is 12 years old. Okay. 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 All right, are you ready to find out the concept? Yeah. Here's the concept. Candace and Casey's 10 tips for a successful relationship. <laughs> we can do this, right? 10. Fine, just 10. Well, I think, can I do number one mm -hmm. for the 10 tips? No, you have to focus here, Candace. Number one for the 10 tips is you have to spend time alone together. There's no focus on each other when we're not alone. It focuses on everything else. So his first tip is that you have to spend time with each other alone. Seems reasonable, right? Seems reasonable, right? You have to spend time with each other alone. I think that you guys are going to find this incredibly entertaining as we go through this video. Because just, just the the <laughs> to preface this, I have watched maybe like a third of this video already, which made me want to bring it on a platform and react to it and show it to you guys. But first tip, I have to spend time with each other alone. Hear him out. See, that's good. Okay. My brain's not working right now. All right, what's, not, what's another tip, Candace? We have to come up with nine more. Not getting, not, not thinking that all the things that were charming when you first met are not still charming. Maybe that's. Cool. I think that counts. So like the things that you think are cute with me, you still think are cute. You're not like, oh my god, that. <laughs> I still. Not thinking things that are not charming are still charming in a relationship. So the things that you met her for is no longer the things that you still think is charming about her, even though she might have put on weight, 
even though she might have had some kids, even though y'all have changed, even though y'all have had different experiences, the things that you liked when you was 20 is completely different than you are when you're 30. The things that you you like when you're 30 is completely different than the things that you like now. She's saying not thinking that things are still charming that you used to think is charming. It gets better. I think you're cute. Mm -hmm. Seven more tips. You didn't tell me that this was like a test. Um okay, I've got I've got a big one. I've got a very un The truth is about to come out. Y'all ready? Sexy one, but it's a very big one. You have to be patient. What, you think that's generic? <laughs> what? What's wrong? That's a really good one. I know, but you're coming up with tips for things that we aren't really good at doing. Well, here, yes, we are. Leave it to a woman to tell the truth and to blow it up and talk about what the real issues is. Now, watch this. You think we're patient with each other? No, we almost got divorced seven months ago. They almost got divorced seven months ago. They almost got divorced seven months ago, meaning <laughs> what you see on the outside is not necessarily a reflection of what it is that's really happening on the inside. He, first, he said, <laughs> wait, patience. Don't you agree, honey? She was like, we're not really patient with each other. And then dude says, I mean, yeah, we did almost get divorced seven months ago. Watch. Keep watching. And if there wasn't any patience there, any resolve by either of us to be like, all right, let's just chill out for like fucking five minutes and try to figure this out, that's patience. I guess so. And then we figured it out because yeah, we we're it, patient. It, it's okay. This is the big one that it's really like obtuse in its concept but it's really important and it's work like tips six through ten what are we on four through ten well, you can't then there's, we, we, look this whole thing it says ten tips okay but you, you can't have, use up all six of them let's change it let's let's just keep let's I'll there's give you, one tip and then there's sub tips okay we'll so give there's this one tip. and then there's one a b c d e f g h i okay, okay go there so, what's this heavy tip work <sighs> is so much work so let me tell y'all something. Marriage, I don't know what they told y'all. I don't know what they selling y'all. Marriage is not supposed to be work. Honestly. Marriage is not supposed to be suffering. It's not supposed to be work. It's not supposed to be over talking. It's not supposed to be issues. And I say this all the time, and I've been saying this for a long time, right? The way me and Rita's marriage work is much different than how everybody else live. We spend 98% of our time focused on the things that we love about each other and we leave the rest of that shit out the window. I am not about to be suffering, coming home, talking about I got to work to make this happen. If I got to work to make it happen, then that means that it's just not fitting. But she's going to give it the context. Under work comes making time for yourself. That takes work. Finding each other is still funny. It actually does take work because you have to. Fuck that. Shout out to my dog, Anthony Brian Logan, in the building. 
Yo, th- this is the primary reason why y'all need to pick and choose what it is that you share on the internet. And I know, listen, Casey Neistat is one of my favorite content creators. But let's just be real and let's be honest, yo. First, they say that they almost got divorced seven months ago. Now they say how much work it is to be married. Then they say that they had to get a therapist so that they fight and have a referee in between them because of somebody that's smarter than them. This went downhill fast. So all of the happy music, the bling, 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 all of that, that's just the soundtrack that's getting added afterwards. The laugh track that gets sounded afterwards. All of this shit that they talking about, this is not the key to a successful marriage. I'm telling you, as a person that has been married for 19 years, this ain't it, fam. This ain't. So now y'all fighting all the time and you got so much fighting that y'all got to go and get a therapist to referee between y'all in order to keep y'all from fighting too heavy so that y'all get divorced because y'all almost got divorced seven months ago. Okay, let's continue. Watch. Keep watching. You leave and you're like. That made sense. And usually the ref doesn't pick a winner. It just helps you understand what the two of you are fighting over. Right. Sorry. But that was hard Continue. work. How many did we go through? Because Dr. P wouldn't take us anymore. She we got like, fired by one of our yeah. therapists. How many therapists did we go through? Because one of our therapists wouldn't even take us anymore. He just said, listen, I don't give a fuck if you Casey nice that. I don't care if... You got a lot of money. I don't care what you offering me. I don't even want to be bothered anymore. I can't. I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. He like he he dropped the video though. I'm gonna be reading that super chat shortly. Don't worry about it, Christopher J. Let's continue. Look, these are y'all heroes. I just think this should get its own card. Work? Yes. That's, it should be the only card. And if you don't want to put in the work, then don't be in a relationship. Someone very close to me, <coughs> my father. And I'm going to need you to fucking cover your mouth when you fucking coughing out loud. Man, come on, man. Oh, they say there's somebody out there for everybody, but just not for me. And you just coughed in my face. Because, listen, I know that y'all think that y'all cover effectively. <laughs> Give me a second. I know that y'all think that y'all cover effectively when y'all cough like this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All of the germs still get out. All of the germs sit When you this far away from your mouth with the cough, uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's not a, a proper cover. That's not a pr- proper cover. You're going to have to cover effectively. Because I just got all of that stuff. Whatever it is that you put out there, I got it back. I know we kiss. I know we do all of the nasty stuff under the covers. But damn. And no, I'm not going to be working that hard. I don't want to work. I want to come home and be at peace. I want to come home and I want to be at peace. I'm not going to be sitting here going back and forth with you working every day in order to make this work. It don't work. I'm going to listen. Let's raise our kids. Let's get the kids grown. And we're just going to go ahead and, and move in a different direction. Good Jesus Christ. Just told me that if he had to do it all over again, he would be a bachelor because it's too hard to be. Casey told her if he had to do it all over again, he would be a bachelor because it's too hard. (laughs) He just told her that if he had to do it all over again, he would be a bachelor because it's too hard. Now that's some sh- that's some that's some real talk for you. This went so fast, didn't it? Let's continue. Married and have kids. Her dad literally said this weekend. Oh, that if was I could her do dad. It over again, I wouldn't have. He. Her dad. Listen to what her dad told her. Listen, this is crazy. That wasn't Casey. That was her dad. No, I just think this should get its own card. Let's watch the cough again. Yes. That's it. Should be the only card. And if you don't want to put in the work, then don't be in a relationship. Someone very close to me, <coughs> my father. I can't take the cough, but this is what her fa- her father told her. And I've been telling y'all this for a long time, but see, once people get old enough, they'll start to tell you the truth. But this is what her father, t- father told her. 
just told me that if he had to do it all over again, he would be a bachelor because it's too hard to be married and have kids. Her dad literally said this weekend, if I could do it over again, I wouldn't have kids. He said this to his daughter. He said he'd sail and he'd get a new Porsche every year and his life would be easy. See, I... Listen, listen, I said this a while ago and I said guys are not honest with themselves and they continue to live in this space where they act like their kids is the primary reason why it's okay for them to stay in bad relationships because they justify the idea of how they get treated by saying that the kids are worth it. When you get to a point in your life like older people and they don't give a fuck, I'm going to be reading that super chat in the shortly. When you get to a point where your parents get old enough, they will tell you the truth. And the dad said, listen, if I had to do it all over again, I would sell, I would buy a new Porsche every year, I would ha have a lot of fun, but the kids would not be in the plans and I absolutely would not be in a relationship. That's too much work. That's too, and y'all think that it just only affects y'all because y'all in the black community? Nope. I think, and maybe it's easy because we're having a good day today, I think the this dude said we having a good day today. Work is worth it. Yeah. It's definitely not for everybody. I will say that. Really? I used to judge people when I was in my 20s who'd say they didn't want to have kids. And I'd be like, that's just weird. Now that I'm married with kids, I get it. And when my father said that to me, I wasn't even mad. I was like, yeah, that would be nice. I do. Oh, hey, and she just low key throw him under the bus. She said now that she's married with kids, when his father said that he wouldn't even have kids. And would just buy a new Porsche every year and go selling all the time and enjoy his life. Her reply was not to get mad or bothered by it, because I've seen a lot of y'all in the chat say, oh, man, that's a horrible thing to say to your kids. No, you don't really understand. Kids get it. Now that she's married and have kids, she said right in front of Casey, yeah, that would be nice. Mm. She said right into right in front of his face, yes, that would be nice. To be single, not have kids, be able to go and live her life, and I'll be married and in a relationship. That's crazy. On camera. And he left it in once he went through the editing process. That's some real shit. Shout out to Casey Neistat. That's some real stuff. But that is the craziest thing that I've heard a woman say to a man since I was on Fight Club this past weekend. She said, yeah, that would be nice. Jesus Christ. I think this thing that I've made a video about before. And he just glossed over it like he didn't hear it. Is so critical. Is this a Venn diagram? Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> See? <laughs> cute. Still cute. I think this is so critical. And when I speak with friends who are married and they're having strife, I attribute it to a lack of respect for this, which is, I've explained this to you before, Candace, but this is me maintaining my sense of self That's and horrible. my work and my friends, like my own life. That is horrible. You with your own life. And then together we share this relationship. That's horrible. And where it gets troublesome is when it becomes like, one sort of relationship messy circle and you give up your sense of self and I give up my sense of self and you sacrifice that for the relationship. I think that is extremely detrimental. But this, this requires... That's probably why you take so many trips back to New York by yourself. A lot of this. I'm right? not doing it. Yeah. Uh, let me watch. I haven't watched any of this part, so let me watch a little bit more and see what's happening. I'm not doing it, Joe. Tip number eight. <laughs> that, was, that had to be five in there. Maybe, yeah. Tip number eight. This is so much pressure. It's just like a quiz. Okay, I have a tip. Respect each other's pet peeves 
You cannot internalize it when someone doesn't like it when you leave your underwear on the floor. This is dumb. Let me get get this off my fucking screen. This is stupid. This is stupid. Honestly, be careful. I know a lot of y'all want to get get coaching, and y'all think that just because they got money or they rich or they your favorite celebrity that that's supposed to justify how it is that they listen. These people out here is fucked up. And again, I love Casey Neistat. I think that he is one of the most creative people on earth. But just because he's able to be one of the most creative people on earth does not mean these people should be able to give you advice on how it is that you should be living your life in a marriage or a relationship or with kids or any of that other type of stuff. This is stupid. It's 100% stupid. So shout out to Casey Neistat. Got to give him some respect for being transparent in his life. But that junk was stupid as piss.